لا هو مش شغال ولا كده ولا كده بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم A 58 years old female complaining of abdominal pain of one month duration not responding to treatment. Abdominal ultrasonography reveals hypoechoic solid pancreatic mass about three times three centimeter. Lab investigation was done. CBC, liver function, serum, lipase, and amylase was within normal. CA 19-9 was done, which also was within normal. CT abdomen was done reveal well circumscribed pancreatic body mass about three times four centimeter otherwise normal finding. CT guided biopsy was done and it revealed chronic pancreatitis. MRI, MRI scan with MRCP film show hypo intense mass in the pancreatic body, normal common bile duct and normal pancreatic duct. No regional lymphadenopathy was detected in CT or MRI. So she was referred for doing endoscopic ultrasonography for examination of the pancreatic ovular system and possibility of fine needle aspirin. As we see, we start examination just below the GE junction by two to three centimeter in anticlockwise rotation. Uh, here we start examination of the pancreatic body. And here we found the, the mass about three to, and three uh, to three point five centimeter have part of it have a solid component and the other part a cystic component. The mass is well circumscribed and it was a part away from the vessels, away from the splenic vein and splenic artery. This another uh, image from examination below the GE junction in the body of the pancreas. We found the same well circumscribed hypoechoic mass. And by examination of the tail of the pancreas, it was free and normal pancreatic tissue in it. Another image, uh, image we saw also the mass, and this is the cystic component of the mass, and this is the solid component of the mass. This video, while examination below the GE junction in anticlockwise rotation, this is the body of the pancreas, and this is the solid part of the of the pancreatic mass, and this is the cystic part of it. And uh, it shows that we are away from the vessels. And we see that it have a well circumscribed again. EUS fine needle aspirate was done with 22G needle from the mass, and cytopathological examination reveals the following. Non-epithelioid spindle-shaped tumor cells with elongated nuclei covered with fibrous capsule contain necrotic material. The neoplasm presented with a storyform pattern. There was large number of blood vessels in the stroma, favoring the diagnosis of solitary fibrous tumor of the pancreas. Immunohistochemistry CD34 was positive. What is the solitary fibrous tumor of the pancreas? Solitary fibrous tumor is a distinct type of non epithelioid tumor with spindle-shaped features uh, arise from mesenchymal origin. Others include leomyosarcoma, liposarcoma, fibrosarcoma, and vascular tumor. They are rare growths of soft tissue cells that can nearly anywhere in the body, but mainly in the pleura. It may be uh, found asymptomatic in liver, uh, lung, and the peritoneum. Solitary fibrous tumor of the pancreas are exceptionally rare, and only few cases was reported to date. These tumors presented with vague abdominal symptom. It is discovered incidentally on abdominal radiography. Radiologically, they are difficult to distinguish from neuroendocrinal tumor guessed as they appear hypervascular and well circumscribed on CT. They occur predominantly in the fifth decade age female. This tumor behavior is rather benign but have a potential malignant nature. The diagnosis of this pancreatic tumor is established by combination by clinical suspicious imaging procedure, histological findings, and confirmed by immunochemistry staining. Immunochemistry is helpful for differentiation of sol solitary fibrous tumor from other mesenchymal tumors, especially CD34 and BCL2. Surgical excision is recommended for treatment of this rare disease. Take home messages. Most of the pancreatic tumors are epithelial in origin. But still, numerous rare cases of non-epithelial origin pancreatic tumor should be taken in consideration, like lymphoma, GIST, solitary fibrous tumor, and soft tissue sarcomas, fibroblastic tumors. Diagnosis of the solitary fibrous tumor of the pancreas is based on clinical suspicious imaging, histopathological finding, and confirmed by immunochemistry staining. This tumor behave benign but have a malignant potential, 
And surgical excision is a mandatory for such a condition. Thank you.